Hi everyone, welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel. My name is Shukra. So in this video, I wanted to do a throwback video. I'm doing a what's in my bag video and I've always wanted to do one. So I thought, hey, what the heck, let me go ahead and film one. So the bag I have right here is my Prada Galleria bag and it is in their Saffiano leather. And this leather is very durable, which is amazing and great. I read a lot of reviews before for purchasing this bag so I wanted to have a bag that was you know really long lasting and it is not in their mini or their small size you know this is a fairly well sized bag I know like you know the mini bags the small bags are like you know constantly in but I wanted to make sure I had a bag that could hold a lot of things so I've had this bag for a while now and it's keeping up it's in a like blush color and it has gold hardware on it so I love gold hardware on bags I've been trying to incorporate bags with silver hardware into my wardrobe a whole lot more and it's going pretty well but you know my old favorites are you know bags with gold hardware so the first thing in my bag is of course my cell phone so my iPhone is first thing in here a lot of things you know important things on your phone and this is an essential to always carry around with you nowadays so I have my iPhone Next up in my bag is lotion, hand lotion. I actually have two hand lotions. So I have this first aid hand lotion, picked it up from Sephora. And then I also have this hand lotion from, actually I picked this up from one of the hotels I stayed in when I was traveling. So this is from the Westin. So I have two hand lotions in my bag. I feel like you can never go wrong with lotion, you know, you never want to be ashy. So yeah, I have two within my bag right now. <laughs> So this is something that I've recently been carrying uh, as we all have been carrying and this is face mask. I usually have a couple within my bag. So I have these in my bag right now because you never know even though a lot of places are like you don't have to wear a face mask. You never know so that's why I still have them within me. Some places are like oh you can wear it if you want other places are like not needed and then you know so i still have a lot of face mask with me so next up because it's been like you know summertime and you know you should always be wearing sunscreen regardless i have some sunscreen with me and this is the banana boat sunscreen and it's like the spray sunscreen so whenever i'm out and i need to reapply sunscreen i usually use this and just spray it on you know whatever body part i need to reapply my sunscreen on so this is always helpful i feel like always having sunscreen is important you know always have your sunscreen on <laughs> next up within my bag i have some hand sanitizer so this hand sanitizer is from tufts health plan so i received this hand sanitizer from i went to something and they were giving out hand sanitizers it's funny how now like the thing to give out whenever you go to whatever like you know a meeting or something like that is hand sanitizer you can never go wrong with having too much hand sanitizer and as always even before the pandemic i would always car carry around hand sanitizer so this is definitely a must-have for everyone in their bags whenever they're out just to you know if you don't have the privilege of washing your hands you have hand sanitizer to help you out Next up in my bag is tissues. So these are Kleenex um, on the go tissues. So I really love these. You never know when you'll need tissues. I feel like everything I'm saying right now is like a grandma, like is what grandmas have, but you need these things in your bag. So you need Kleenex, you need tissues because you never know what could happen. And I really love how portable they are and how you know they're small and they they don't get in the way either and whenever someone needs a tissue and you know you can whip it out and be like hey got you got you sis got you pro so it's always good to have tissues
Next up are Clorox. Uh, so these are their disinfecting wipes. So I'm almost done with this pack. So I have this because as we all know, you need to take precautions sometimes and you never know when you're gonna need this. So they're great for just wiping things down or maybe if you have something sticky on your hands as well, you could even use it on your hands to wipe yourself down. So it kills like, you know, all the necessary viruses. So very important to have this, you know, at least something, something that's, you know, at least something that disinfects carrying that around is always super helpful and useful so I have these I remember there was a point when there was a shortage of all these things like you know back in like March 2020 when everyone was going crazy over Clorox um, Lysol all those things and like toilet paper so I definitely made sure to stock up on this <laughs> Next up in my bag is something I kind of just recently started carrying around with me. I didn't carry this around with me like, you know, back in the day, but it is deodorant. So the miniature travel size deodorants, I carry this around with me now because I think it's just because of the fact that, you know, it's summertime and sometimes, you know, God forbid you forgot to put on deodorant. I have this in my bag and then I can just easily apply and I've been trying to use more like you know the organic deodorant and I know Dove just started coming out with like a clean deodorant so I think I'm going to try that too. Alright let me put all these things back in before I get into like another section of my bag. So within my bag I like to carry a little pouch and it's like a catch-all for all of my cosmetic items that I like to carry around with me. So this is a Mario Badusu little catch-all. I think I received this you know as a gift with a purchase for you know Mario Badusu's line. So I've always been carrying this around and like you know my bags as a catch-all. So within here I have Burt's Bees uh, Medicated Moisturizing Lip Balm. So I have this, you know, want to make sure your lips are nice and moisturized along with a Fenty lipstick. I've been going crazy over these lipsticks lately. I also have a liquid lipstick and this is from Kat Von D. Kat Von D, I feel like she has a really good line of uh, liquid lipsticks. I also have a lip liner so this is great this is a Sephora lip liner because you never know you have to reapply when you're drinking when you're eating you just want to reapply or touch something up and I have some travel size perfume so this is a Chloe travel size perfume and then this is a Dolce & Cabana travel size perfume so I have that too just in case I need to reapply or you know put on some perfume so this is what I have in here sometimes I carry like you know um, powder with me or you know blotting paper but I normally do not carry those with me next up within my bag I have sunglasses and these are from is it Key Australia or Quay Australia I always get confused on the proper pronunciation for these sunglasses but I have yeah this a pair of aviators i normally do not wear sunglasses too often but i do carry them around you know just in case i feel like i'm still trying to figure out the best type of sunglasses that fit my face so i think aviators look good on me so i have these next up is something you know very important to have in your bag I think for a lot of women and it is a compact mirror so I have this it's just like you know in a gold thing so 
a compact mirror it's always good to have it you know you never know when you're done eating maybe there's something in your teeth and you just want to like make sure everything's looking okay on your face or you know whatever it is and then I don't know if you guys ever watched uh, Lizzie McGuire on one of the episodes she used her compact mirror to look behind her and I thought that was the coolest thing ever when I was growing up when I saw her do it I think she was she was like stalking or watching I think Ethan Crafts if you guys remember who that is but she was just like that and like I was like what you can see what's behind you like that and then next thing I know like I went to I went into my mom's stuff and I picked up one of her compacts and I was like let me see what's going on here let me like look and I was just I, I was so freaking amazed by that it was hilarious And then I also have my charger in my bag. I always carry this around just in case. And it's funny because my phone usually never loses, like, you know, its battery. Like, I'm never at, like, 0%. I'm never at, like, 20%. I'm not on my phone that much, like, you know, when I'm out. Or even throughout the day, like, I rarely have to recharge my phone. But, like, it's better to be safe than sorry. So, yeah, because I know some people who, they are constantly recharging their phone they're constantly having to charge their phone and i'm like what is going on here like what are you doing how much are you on your phone throughout the day that you need to constantly be recharging it but yeah i normally like ever like do not ever have to recharge it but just in case i still carry it it's funny because like i don't think i carry too much but going through everything i'm like oh wow i really do have a good amount of things within my bag <laughs> so then next up of course i have my wallet and this is my louis vuitton wallet i do not have the proper name coming to mind right now but it's just you know a pretty nice decent wallet and carries all the necessary things a lot of components has a back component all these card slots and then it also has a zip in the middle and i'm just like trying to hide like some of the cards <laughs> but um yeah so it's pretty roomy in here so i really like this wallet and it's nice and durable because you know how lv material is it's very structured it's very durable and yeah so this is a this if you're looking to invest in some luxury piece and you want to start out i think a wallet or a card holder is a great way to start out when you're you know trying to start building your luxury collection so I have a planner, but my planner is pretty big. It's like a decent amount. So I normally do not like to carry it around with me unless I'm carrying like a tote bag or like a book bag or something. So normally I have a pen and I just take post notes with me. So I can just, you know, write down anything that I need to really like jot down if I'm like in the middle of something. But I have a planner and I normally carry that around when I'm like, you know, being more professional and like, I need to make sure I have things to write down but if I'm just carrying like my bag to like you know do something during the day and it's not like you know really business or professionally related I normally just have post-its and I just jot down little notes or little reminders for myself but I'm really good with that and then I I normally use my phone too so I use like these post notes uh, my phone and my planner like to really make sure I capture all the things I need and then also like when you're out and about like there are always times where you're going to need a pen or maybe someone else is going to need a pen so when you have it it's great to offer it or you you know you don't have to ask someone like hey can I borrow a pen do you have a pen and it's just right there so the last thing I have in my bag, I don't know if you guys are going to laugh or you guys are going to be surprised, but I have headphones and I have the ones that have the wire still because I know everyone's doing the, you know, what are you doing with the wired um, earphones 
why don't you just have the AirPods instead? So I'm looking into getting AirPods, but as of right now, I just have the ones with the wire and I'm perfectly fine with that. Yeah, so I have these headphones and you know, you never know when you'll need them when you're in public, maybe listening to music. I usually use them when I'm listening to music or maybe I'm FaceTiming someone and I wanna put the headphones in so not everyone hears my conversation. So headphones are always good to have with you when you're out and about. Okay, so that's pretty much it for everything I have in my Prada Galleria bag and it is in the Saffiano leather like I said before and it has you know top handles and it also has a strap so you could do crossbody if you want but I rarely wear this bag crossbody and I think this bag is great it's a great bag to invest in I think this like you know the Prada Galleria bag has been around for a while and it's pretty much a classic so if you want to invest in a classic bag I do think this would be a good one to invest in and I really do enjoy this bag I like the leather this leather is so nice and durable I feel like that's one of the things with me when it comes to luxury especially now like since I'm just building my collection is to make sure I have things that are classic and durable before getting into the things that are a little bit more dainty and colorful so um yeah so this is pretty much it for a what's in my bag video i hope you guys enjoyed it i don't know if there's some things in my bag that i do not have that you guys are kind of like what about this what about that why don't you have that you know leave that in the comment section below and let me know because you know like i said i'm always open to feedback in order to improve upon things so i hope you guys enjoyed this video if this is your first time watching please make sure to hit the subscribe button and come back for more Bye.